Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome or welcome back to Stars Aligned Oracle YouTube channel. We're like a stars community. Cat Star here with a new timeless reading. As a reminder, my readings are for entertainment and are general in nature. They may or may not resonate for everybody. So please do take what is for you and leave it as one for those of you liking and sharing the videos. Thank you so, so much. It does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise. I also want to give a huge shout out to all of the new and returning viewers and subscribers and to the channel members. Thank you all so, so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you. So in the beginning, I don't know if you noticed that I kind of stammered on my words. The word that wanted to come out was messages. Um, I, uh, I think it was the part where, um, where I say my readings are for entertainment. The word messages wanted to come through. So these messages that are coming through are going to come through here. Aquarius are very important. These are urgent messages that spirit needs you to hear and or information, maybe something even to focus on. Life um, has been a bit hard for many lately. There's a lot of um, things going on in the world for the collective and in personal lives. And so Spirit wanted these three messages. That's what I have been given um, information or kind of downloads for three messages to come through. Um, if more come through, we'll, we'll take a look and see if that's what Spirit is intending or not. That wasn't original, um, but you know, we, we are flexible, right? Uh, we are flexible. Things happen, things come up, things change. And so Spirit's asking for you uh, to have some flexibility in your life right now, of course, um, no matter what is going on, because um, yes, there's difficult times that many of us are noticing and going through and spirit um, is working to bring some relief. Now, see, we did get the three and the one that came through was I am the light. Okay. So this is the, the relief right there. Okay. So these are the three and interestingly enough, do these all have that? I guess I've never noticed. Well, no, they don't. They don't all have cross like images. See, but these three do. Okay. So notice that they all have cross like images, the three messages that came out. Now, a majority of these do, but they all don't. Okay. Um, see, that one's not, and that's not one of the ones that we got, but the three that you did get all do have cross like images. Okay. So for some of you, that is going to be very meaningful. And that's why this urgent message is urgent messages, what to focus on or what you need to know are needing to come through right now. Okay. So your first one is elevation. See, th this is what's happening. Spirit is um, bringing about tests or um, kind of, of things to overcome, to elevate you. Okay. Sometimes it seems counterintuitive. It seems like it doesn't make sense that it would happen or why is this happening or that sort of thing. And it's actually to bring about an elevation or to assist you in rising up. Sometimes we can stay, um, in the same place or, or attempt to stay in the same place forever. Um, it, or with an idea of forever, like we don't want change. We don't want, you know, things to be different or that sort of thing. And, and sometimes spirit needs to give us a little bit of a, of a jump start, if you will. Okay. It says elevation. I free myself from fear and trust the universe. Okay. I direct my thoughts to the beauty inside and around me. I use my spiritual strengths and strengths and knowledge to create light. And I rise above doubt. Whew. And I rise above doubt. Now see the, everything's wanting to come through <laughs> at one time. I create light. And then this says I am the light. Okay. These messages are coming through in, in the most um, beautiful, eloquent way um, that spirit can bring them through for you to hear them. These, these, um, these things to focus on as well, because spirit wants you to focus on the fact that there is an elevation that you are in the midst of. Okay. You are elevating to a higher level, a new understanding, a new um, kind of almost a, a rebirth is what's coming through here. Okay. And spirits needing you to acknowledge your strengths. Okay. Acknowledge your strengths, acknowledge the beauty and your own capability to create the light from within out. Okay. And that you can rise above, you can elevate above the doubts, above the struggle, above the, the, 
um, kind of worries, the fear, the concerns, okay? Things are going to, um, for some things feel very messy and sometimes things are messy, right? If we are going to, for an example, okay? If we are going to remodel our kitchen, it's not clean all the way through, right? We, we got to tear some stuff apart. It, got, it gets messy. And then, wow, it's that rebirth or that, that um, you know, remodel, if you will, that, that comes through. And then, ah, oh, you know, beautiful, beautiful um, uh, kitchen or, or uh, right, um, after the fact. Hopefully you're, you're getting what I'm putting out there. Uh, it's making sense. But Spirit wants you to really pay attention to releasing yourself from the fear and trusting universe, trusting Spirit, that things are, are happening um, the way that they're meant to, even when it doesn't make sense, even when it's difficult and even when it feels um, even painful and messy, uh, it is, it is part of the fabric of life and it is part of your journey. Okay. Sometimes that is so much easier said than right when we're in the midst of it. Now this one leads right into this and knowledge to create light. And your next one is I am light. Okay. I am light. I always have hope no matter the ordeal. I have faith in the, in a better future. I turn darkness into light. I open my heart to others and to God and am spiritually strong. Now, see, both of these are talking about spiritually. I use my spiritual strengths. I am spiritually strong. Okay. I draw light to me and shine with all my being. Okay. This is the light being from the inside out that we already talked about is coming through here. Spirit is asking you to remember to um, really embrace the light within you, Aquarius. Allow that to really, really come from within and out, shining and and being of of light and or potentially a beacon for others. Okay, even in those moments where it feels very difficult, even in those moments when it feels as if we don't have hope or things are hopeless, we can offer. Um, love and compassion and care and grace to ourselves and others. Okay. It doesn't always feel easy. It doesn't always feel easy to uh, elevate and, or to know that you're the light or to use that strength deep within you. And spirit's wanting you to know that spirit is um, with you at all times, bringing that strength and assisting you in um, knowing, understanding, feeling, and embracing that light and that inner strength within you, okay? This too shall pass, where it wants us to come through at this time, of course. Difficult times don't last, okay? They don't last. And Spirit wants you to remember that the light, now see all of these are, are beautiful, bright as well, which these cards are, but right? You are that light. That light is here. That spiritual strength is here. Spirit is uplifting you, elevating you, reminding you uh, within this message and within your day to day that you have the strength within, right? You have that strength within. Feel into your heart, feel into your um, self, really connect with yourself and allow for that inner strength to offer you that guidance and support. Also listen to that connection with spirit, okay? Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize the next one says return to heart. Okay, yes, it, it's been up here, but uh, it says I breathe light and stick to the essential for my soul. Okay, so um, elevation, uh, creating light, I am light and I breathe light. Okay, so there's a lot of light around you. There's a lot of love. There's a lot of joy. There's a lot of support around you um, is what spirit wants to come through here. Okay. I'm going to begin again. Return to light. I breathe light and stick to the essential for my soul, the present moment. I calm my thoughts. I focus on my heart and find space to be where my light and greatness are. I find peace and inner silence. Okay, we actually had something that came through recently, um, a message um, that, that was about inner silence. Actually, I think it might be in the members area. So if you're a member and you haven't seen that new member video, I think that that's where it was. So render to the silence. If I'm, if I'm remembering right, I could be wrong. Um, but if you're a member and you haven't checked out that new, uh, reading that went up recently, go check it out. Cause I'm pretty sure that that, um, 
is about surrendering uh, to your inner silence and, and right being in that state or that place and allowing for the guidance to show up. Whether you're a member or not, you're being reminded here within this third message, this third card, of course, but you have, your heart is always with you, okay? Your breath is always with you. You can always return to that inner feeling, that connection within your heart and within your breath. It can ground you. It can bring you back into this present moment. And Spirit is indicating peace is there for you, okay? That strength is there within you. You always have your breath. You always have your heart, okay? You can always tune back in and be that light, allow that elevation or that, that uplifting to um, really embrace you and uh, offer you the, the support and the guidance. That's what just keeps coming through that is meant to be coming through. We are meant to be uplifting and spirit is here with us, um, you know, offering that kind of uplifting, that strength to us and um, it's a beautiful time and it's a difficult time at the same time and that's why these urgent messages need to come through you have your breath with you okay you always have your heart with you always there you are always with you and and spirit wants you to know that spirit is always with you as well even when it feels painful even when it doesn't feel like it's true even when it feels like maybe you don't always have or hold that hope um, of course, spirit wants you to remember that that spirit is always there, always offering strength and or assisting you in feeling and finding that inner strength, always offering you support, always offering you guidance. You are the apple of spirit's eye. You are the light of spirit's eye, of course. Um, and you're, you're here on purpose and spirit wants you to know that you are priceless. You're amazing. And even though sometimes it's difficult, even though sometimes we don't understand what's happening in life or why it's happening, um, there is that fabric. And at some point, at some time, um, potentially you'll be able to see what it was all for or why it all happened or is happening. Uh, but for now, spirit wants you to know that it is for you to return to your heart, for you to remember your strength and that you are the light and to rise you up, to elevate you. Okay. I hope that this offered you some peace, um, and, uh, and, um, a little bit of just guidance, right? A, a little bit of maybe, um, reassurance and or uh, a knowing that spirit is listening that your your words and your prayers are heard okay i do intend this resonated with you and for you if it did please do hit the like button and share this video it does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise also feel free to hit the subscribe button if this spoke to you right down below and the bell icon so you're notified every time i upload new readings it is free for you to subscribe to the youtube channel and it does support the lucky stars community in growing and thriving as always i do wish you lots of hope lots of joy and lots and lots of love with all of your current and future endeavors and a reminder that um, hard times or difficult times don't last. Okay. All right. I'll see you in the next reading.